Does your smile impact your success at a job interview? Let's follow our top five cheap homemade secrets in having a healthy, clean, and beautiful smile. Hi, I'm Orlando and you're watching Wishcasting. We do world travel guides and try to get you traveling for free by joining Emirates, one of the highest paying companies with biggest network in the world. Join our tutorials and travel guides every Wednesday and Sunday at 5 p.m. plus 2 GMT. Today's lesson is sponsored by the Emirates Wannabes Facebook group, getting you in touch with real Emirates flight attendants. It's the only online community made of Emirates cabin crew, ex-Emirates cabin crew, and aspiring cabin crew helping each other. Join now, it's free. Find the links down in the description. Are gaps in teeth a problem for a job interview? Are teeth braces a problem when applying for a job? What do recruiters look out for? Today, we're picking up where we left at, gaps in teeth from our previous episode. Not gaps in your CV, no, 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 no. Gaps in your teeth. Does Emirates accept gaps in teeth? Hell yes, they do. As long as you don't have a gap as big as the Grand Canyon or gaps between every single tooth, you're fine. When I joined Emirates, I had a gap in my front teeth and it was quite big too. But I still managed joining. A solution to gaps in teeth is using braces, which are expensive and also not accepted by Emirates. You may wear temporary braces that you slip on when not at work, but permanent teeth braces are simply not allowed. Emirates is a very classic company with high standards. Teeth braces just look unprofessional and adolescent. I have nothing against them, but I understand Emirates' point of view on this. There are two fantastic tricks I can recommend here. One is an expensive trick and one a cheap trick. Let's start with the expensive trick first. You can ask your dentist to apply teeth braces on the inner side of your teeth so that braces are invisible. This is much more expensive and requires extra hard work by the dentist but could get you through the open day if the Emirates recruiter doesn't notice them. This link in the upper right corner is our masterclass series on joining Emirates. It's free, it'll always be free, and it's a gold mine. Trust us, follow it from the beginning to the very end. And now let's look at the cheap trick, which is what I did. Number two, your wisdom teeth, teeth that grow later on in your life, in the very back of your jaws should surface when you're around 19 to 24 years old. Most of the times people remove these teeth since they hurt a lot, cause bleeding and push against other teeth causing deformities and more crooked teeth. However, if you manage tolerating the pain and if your dentist tells you that you don't need to remove them, these wisdom teeth will surface and slowly push all other teeth together, closing all gaps you previously had. Without spending a penny, I had all my teeth fixed and I didn't have to remove any of my wisdom teeth. A 100% win-win situation for me. Let's now talk about trashy, dirty looking teeth and how to fix those issues. If your teeth are very dirty, yellow or black, I'd recommend going for a dentist session and get your teeth cleaned. Possibly also do some whitening if you have the financial means. I know it's expensive, but to get this job you really have to be perfect and it's up to you if you'll eventually get an Emirates or not. It's totally 100% up to you and how well you treat yourself. If money is a problem, wait till the end of this video for a homemade solution for whitening your teeth and getting rid of that yellow crusty dental plaque. No dentist required, only home ingredients. Having said that, the most important question you should answer now is, is all of this worth it? Do I wanna spend money on making my smile and teeth look good? And once you have your final answer, ask yourself, is this my dream job? Is all of this commitment and sacrifice really worth it? Once you know the answer to this last question, you'll know whether you need to commit and sacrifice or not for joining Emirates. I used to be a student before and I know money doesn't grow on trees. That's why I created a list of my top five do-it-yourself tips on having a great smile for your job interview. One, always brush your teeth after eating something. Two, 
don't smoke, and don't drink coffee or tea without brushing your teeth afterwards. They stain your teeth and turn them dark yellow. Number three, make your own homemade teeth whitening toothpaste with hydrogen peroxide and baking soda. More information can be found at the end of this video. Number four, let your wisdom teeth grow if you can. They'll push the rest of your teeth together and close all gaps for free. And number five, if your teeth have yellow incrustation between one tooth and another, a simple cheap way to get rid of it is by using dental floss. The best dental floss you can get is waxed dental floss so that it slides easily in the cavities of your teeth and doesn't cause bleeding on the gums. Why is dental floss good? You can use it to apply pressure on the inner side of your teeth, scraping up and down, removing all yellow debris that wouldn't come off with a regular toothbrush. It's the most effective and cheapest way to have healthy, good-looking teeth. Go to the open day without thinking about it too much. If you're really good, your personality and charisma will win over any physical appearance. Having a good, fat, genuine smile makes everything look better. Now check this example now. Two phrases said in the same way, once with a smile and once without the smile. Look how different the impact on the viewer is. I love my job because every day I get to meet new people, new cultures, while traveling around the world. I love my job because every day I get to meet new people, new cultures, while traveling around the world. Crazy difference, right? Always smile whenever you can. Maybe uh, think of something funny and idiotic like your grandma dancing salsa dressed like Snoop Dogg. I, I don't know, but yes, it works, it does. To make homemade teeth whitening toothpaste, follow this recipe. You'll need hydrogen peroxide diluted at 3%. You can find this in any supermarket or pharmacy drugstore. You'll also need baking soda, which I'm sure your mom or dad or grandma has in their kitchen. You may also find it at the supermarket. Mix four teaspoons of baking soda with two teaspoons of hydrogen peroxide until you obtain a uniform paste. You can optionally add two drops of mint essence oil to have a fresher breath, but this is just optional and you don't need to. Brush your teeth with a prepared paste for a maximum of two minutes. Spit out and rinse well after brushing. Do it on the day of your interview so your teeth are white. You can apply this toothpaste every other day to keep your teeth white. Hydrogen peroxide and baking soda are household items, very commonly used and don't cause any harm if done properly. Don't do this too often since it can cause some burn sensation to your gums and consume your enamel protective layer around your teeth. Now I hope you liked this video and found it useful. If you did, destroy that like button and leave a comment. I will see you on our next video. Now that's it for today's video. We want to thank you for watching till the very end. We thank you for your support and following. It's oxygen for us. We're trying to reach 10,000 subscribers and only your help can make the difference. Subscribe, comment, like, and share if you care supporting us. Feel free to take a look at our popular low-cost travel guides here. Check our entire free Emirates Masterclass course here. We'd love to know your experience in the comments below. If you have any other questions, just ask and I will reply. As always, it's my pleasure to do videos. Hope you liked it and keep it rolling, guys.